Corey has battled through Crohn's disease, surgery. Great to see him out there. Yeah, Will had to take last season off, um, so he was not available to compete last year. And I want to tell you right now that none of these dives are easy that these men are doing, whether they're going off the 10 meter or another platform height. Uh, none of these dives are easy. That's an inward three and a half somersault, and it's performed very well, very well. Eights at eight and a half, 76.80. Oh. Round two now for Will Chandler from Texas. Hardest forward spinning somersault going, a forward four and a half, and has a little trouble completing those somersaults. Uh, Will's the only competitor doing that dive. And we saw a lot of those in the Olympics this last summer, including Nick McCrory, but he's not doing it in this contest. 68.45. We move to the third round and the Waco, Texas native Will Chandler for the Longhorns. And he almost does this dive terrifically. He's just a little shy of vertical and he, and he gets a, a bit of an arch in his back when he goes in the water and we're going to see it right there. Just a little arch, and that creates that splash because he's just done, done get to vertical. There's his coach, Matt Scoggin, been at the University of Texas for a long time. So three rounds complete now. We go to round four, and Will Chandler from Texas. Will in sixth place after half the contest. Just a bit deficient, just a little bit short, not quite there. Good jump off the platform. And there's, I've talked a lot about the visual references, the spotting, and um, on the backs and reverse spinners, and that's a back spinner. 